Recently, there have been concerns that some people might be removed from the program based on its recent qualifying criteria. There was a fear that the changes might be politically motivated. However, manager of the program, Lenora George Buckmeyer, says this can't be further from the truth and that beneficiaries are selected by a set of measures. Seed became a topical issue coming to the end of last year. Yeah. Yes. We got a lot of publicity, some some not so positive, but um, that, that enabled us to improve our functioning. Ms. Buckmeyer noted that schools are assessed under a formula devised by the World Bank which ensures the elimination of subjective analysts and personal bias. We have been doing, and that's why um, the process has been a bit slow, because this is something new for us. What we have been doing is reassessing those households to see if the information that we put in the system was accurate. So we're doing a, a, a total reassessment of those persons. So we have not voided anybody or suspended anybody, even if the initial assessment said they're not eligible, they continue because we are working on that assessment. But we do have persons, let me see, we do have households who graciously accepted the letters and said, Miss, thank you very much. We do not wish to appeal. We are grateful that we were kept on for so long. There are persons who admitted, and I can say that because I visited most of the families, and all that would have um, slowed the process of really um, addressing the case, in that we went house to house to look for all those persons who the instrument determined were not eligible to see for ourselves. We went. The seed manager says, although it's not guaranteed that one will be accepted under the program, it's mandatory that applicants be entered in a database. And anybody can apply. And the seed officers cannot tell anybody that you will not, um, you're not eligible. Okay? The, the, the rule governing the operation is that anybody, so if you go to the office and you say you come to apply, they have to take your information. Well, what, they, what they would tell you is, yes, true. what they would tell you is what the process involves, and they would tell you they cannot guarantee you that because they collect your information that you will be found eligible. On the multi-million dollar scheme, partly financed by the World Bank, over 10,000 people now stand to benefit from the program if deemed eligible. She says the need for the program was identified by the prior government following the 2008 survey, where it was revealed that approximately 37% of the population was below the poverty line. Renee Toussaint, GBN News.